Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team. In today's video, I'll provide a complete overview of the graphical user interface available on the O-Ray UHD48-EX230-K 4x4 HDMI matrix and extender kit. Through this interface, you can access and modify all of the configuration settings available for the product to perfectly match your media setup. Now to access the interface, you'll connect the unit to your local network and open your favorite web browser and point it at the default IP address of the product. Normally that's 192.168.1.100. If for any reason it's been changed, you can find the current IP address by connecting it to a local computer through the RS-232 connection, opening up a serial program, and issuing the command R space IP config exclamation point, and that will return the current IP address. Once you access the product, you'll be greeted by the login screen, you can enter your credentials, and access all of the configuration menus. Now if you stay tuned next, I'll actually walk through those menus and explain the various options available for changing the configuration of the product. When you open your browser and navigate to IP address 192.168.1.100, you'll be greeted by the login screen. Here, you'll need to enter your username and password. The default username is admin with a capital A, and the password again is admin but with a lowercase a this time. Once your credentials have been entered, simply tap the login button to enter the configuration options. The first tab you'll see when you're logged on to the HDMI matrix is the status screen, which provides a wide variety of good information about the product. Here, you can see details like the model number and its current firmware version. This tab also lists the current host name of the device that will be seen on your network, as well as its IP address, subnet mask, and other important details about the product, including its MAC address. These are specific details you'll need to access and control the device over the network once it's connected. The next tab down is the video screen, which provides an overview of the current relationship between the four inputs and eight outputs. Here, you can redirect any of the inputs to each of the output pairs as needed by simply clicking the arrow next to the input you'd like to change and selecting another one from the drop-down menu. On the right-hand side of the page, you can easily set save, and clear your selections as presets. These presets will save you time in the future by instantly making the changes to the matrix for your configuration. The next tab is the Input tab, which allows you to verify your input settings and adjust your EDID choices. On the top of the page, you'll see the four input channels with indicators to let you know which ones are currently active. You'll also have a view of each input's current audio settings. You can easily change these EDID settings for each input by simply selecting the input you'd like to change and choosing a new audio setting from the drop-down list. Further down the page, you also have the option of loading or saving your EDID settings for the product for quicker setup next time. The Output tab shows you the current state of the four pairs of output connections. There are indicators for all eight of the outputs to show you that you have a monitor connected to that particular port. This screen even shows you the status of the local HDMI connections as well as the remote connections over the LAN. These provide visual confirmation that your connections have been verified. This tab also shows you their current resolution, which you can modify by clicking the arrow to the right of any of the inputs and selecting a new resolution from the drop-down choices. Finally, you can quickly enable and disable the media stream for all eight outputs by toggling the setting for that output. The next tab down is the CEC tab, which provides complete remote control of the HDMI matrix from this single page. On the left-hand side of the screen, you can choose and control any of the four inputs. Here, you can start, stop, fast forward, and pause the media on that particular device. You can also mute the audio and have control over other various input functions. On the right-hand side of the screen, you have some control over the four output pairs. You can first choose the output pair you'd like to control, and then make your adjustments. The Network tab displays all of the login information you'll need to access the matrix. On the top half of the screen, you'll see the current IP address of the matrix, and you have a choice of either using DHCP to automatically select this address if your network supports that feature, or static, where you can enter a specific address you'd like to use. On the lower half of the screen, you can easily modify the login credentials for both the admin and user, as well as change the name of the matrix that's displayed on your network. 
You can also reset all of these parameters to their defaults by tapping the button on the bottom of the screen. If you change any of these settings, make sure to tap the Save button to apply them to the matrix. The System tab provides expanded control over the general operation of the HDMI matrix. From this screen, you can easily lock the buttons on the front panel of the unit to prevent unintended changes to the settings. You can also turn off the initial beep that is heard when the unit is first turned on. Further down on this tab, you can even modify the board rate for the serial RS-232 connection. This screen also provides a very simple way of updating the firmware on the matrix. To do this, start by tapping the Browse button, and then locating the new firmware file, and finally tapping the Update button to complete the process. You also have the option of forcing a complete factory reset to the matrix to revert to all of the original settings, or even rebooting the device if needed over the network. I hope you found this overview of the graphical user interface for the O-Ray UHD48-EX230-K helpful. That interface provides an incredibly easy way for you to simply manage the product over a network connection by opening a web browser, and that will provide access to all of the configuration settings available for the product so you can make whatever adjustments are needed to perfectly match your media setup. So until next time, thanks again for watching.